How would I write Accelerators 5? More specifically, what would I focus on? So in this video, I'm going to give my thoughts on how I would write Accelerators 5. The first elephant in the room we have is Tesla. Throughout the whole series, Tesla has been manipulative, selfish, and secretive with a decent amount of resources at his disposal. However, with the end of the ultimate race, we see that Tesla has completed his character arc, opening up to the drivers and acting less robotic and more human. In Accelerators 5, I'd make it so that his character begins to show that he is selfless, more so open up about the past and what happened to the other drivers. He would also regret and begin to realise how he's hurt the drivers. Probably through the reflection and contemplation of his friendship and betrayal with Gig. Through this, he would want to help the drivers, but without the same resources at hand, since the Accelerodrome blew up, completely flipping how his character was throughout the series, but still keeping true to his character arc. Now, a minor detail would be so that Tesla wears glasses to show his overall transparency, and him starting to be not so reliant on his suit, signifying how he has repaired his humanity. The next person I would focus on is Shiroko, since his backstory wasn't focused on at all, while the others were. I wouldn't necessarily give him flaws nor develop his character, but would show what his past was about, and why he always listens to music. Maybe he listens to music because it was his way of getting past stress. Stress that could have been caused by abusive parents or something habitual developed as a kid. Or maybe music was the only way he made friends when he was a kid. Or maybe he had a girlfriend that died and that was the last of the music that she had made. In any case, the rest of the drivers would collectively wonder why he does it, and he eventually opens up about it. And I think he should open up about it specifically to Porkchop. Maybe both of them can bond through their shared vulnerabilities and traumas, and therefore Porkchop, instead of getting irritated with music, tolerates it because he knows what it means for Shiroko, since Porkchop does has his old backstory with Hydrophobia. For the next character to delve into, I would go with Karma. Why is she a perfectionist? Perhaps her father was one of the best technical drivers in Formula 1, which is why she has that drive for perfection. Maybe her dad would always force her to be perfect in racing, to follow his footsteps. I would also explore how Karma could be the human version of Galorum. Maybe she starts to have more of a sixth sense, or has flashbacks about the Accelerons. Through this, she starts noticeably being a better driver and has an intuition on what to do in certain situations. This could also be portrayed through maybe Tesla reflecting on how Karma discovered the racing realms, along with how she figured out when to stop in the drone's trap. Maybe Kurt can start being skeptical about Karma. Now the next person, or robot should I say, that would be interesting to explore is Glorum. While she is just flying through space, she has a lot of alone time to contemplate her life, contemplate about the Accelerons racing and her purpose. She starts by figuring out that every move she has ever made was because of the Accelerons and how they programmed her. So although she made her own choices, she made them based on how the Accelerons programmed her. Since Tesla's and Galorum's arc is so similar, this could be a turning point in which Galorum starts to feel and act out the positive side of the human emotional spectrum, in contrast to the whole series where she mainly used the negative side of the emotional spectrum. This is in contrast to also Kadeem, where Kadeem would also act as Galorum's former self. If Galorum comes back to the drone's headquarters, there could potentially be a split in their philosophies and therefore cause a drone war. To do with Kurt and Wilde, I would show more interactions with their brotherly love and reconciliation between them. It would be good to finally see Wilde somewhat transforming back into Marky and Kurt acting more like a big brother for once. And to do with Kurt, since he is the embodiment of skepticism, he would be the one questioning how Karma knew when to stop the sweeper and probably rip into Tesla for what he did. With Nolo and Talk, they would start a good friendship, similar to Kurt and Wilde. However, as their relationship begins to flourish, so do the relationships between the Tegu and the Metal Maniacs as a whole, such as Porkchop and the Shiroko thing I mentioned earlier. Overall, Nolo and Talk would always try to help each other and save each other in dire situations. Maybe they would also see that their whole feud was pointless and start acting like brothers as well. As for Monkey, maybe he could potentially start overcoming his fear like he did in the drone's headquarters, or act more confident in his fear. Maybe he would try to step up more for the other drivers, and potentially put himself in the firing line as seen in the Accelerodrome. For Taro, his character is great as it already is. Maybe he develops his relationship with Karma, and something she does, or is, indicates to Taro that she may have ties with the drones or accelerons, and so he has to decide whether to tell the team or stick with his love. This could also explore what his samurai discipline would do, 
honour the individual or honour his team. As for Vert, at first he is salty at his dad, Banji and Dresden, but throughout time he starts to understand why they did what they did, while Banji and Dresden start to feel remorse for what they did. Maybe for Major Wheeler, maybe the reason he is a silencer is to get back his wife, back from the drones that captured her or something along those lines. And so Vert, understanding all of this, works for the silencers, seeing that because his father put family above everything, he should too. And finally, last but not least, Lani. Maybe she starts to feel underappreciated and sad, maybe she wants to sabotage Tara's and Karma's relationship. Where she could too accidentally find out about Karma's ties with the drones or Acceleron and tries to bring it up with the group. But because the group knows that she is trying to sabotage their relationship, they dismiss it. All of course, but Kurt. Anyway, what are your thoughts? As always, thanks for watching.